My name is Miranda Dorsey. My former English teachers were a really big inspiration for me, but it was the thought of being able to read some of my favorite books from school over again and get to teach other kids to enjoy them like I did. The room is thinking beyond the four walls, so for me, making it inclusive is communication with your students. If I got thrown into a room that had no materials, I'd have to make it inclusive, and the best way to do that is understanding your kids. Uh, strategies I've really enjoyed using this year that I found effective were the jigsaw method and concept mapping. So it let my kids kind of work on that collaboration piece and practice their visualizing skills. Technology I think is a blessing and a curse. I think it makes things more accessible for the kids that have needs that can be fulfilled with the technology. But for kids that do better in a traditional classroom, it's just going to pull away from what they're expected to do and teach them to use a crutch. So far my biggest obstacle has been being a young teacher because I don't think I look like an authority figure. Um, and I think the biggest thing is just setting boundaries and just aiming to be professional all the time so people do take me seriously. <laughs> I would describe it as just learning to take your hands off the wheel sometimes and just see how they pick up those pieces then. It's giving them a place to fail safely. Um, and not just giving them an answer right away because they have a question and they're confused. It's letting them sit with it for a little bit. The biggest thing I think they can take away is navigating challenging experiences and obstacles and learning to be flexible. Especially in English, you a lot of times have to read things you don't like. And part of that is the skill of just dealing with uncomfortable or unwanted experiences.